All right, let's take a look at question three. This is on the AB and the BC exam for AP Calculus 2023. The solutions aren't out yet. They're not gonna be out for a few months. So these are my best guess at the solutions. And if I have any corrections, I will put it in the comments uh, as a pinned comment. So a bottle of milk is taken out of the refrigerator, placed in a pan of hot water to be warmed. The increasing function M, so it's increasing. Key as a keyword, they're telling you that M it's, it's increasing. <clears throat> that means M prime is positive. Um, where M of T is measured in degrees Celsius and T is the number of minutes since the bottle is placed in the pan, M satisfies the differential equation. A slope field is given. Sketch the solution curve through point zero 0.05. So zero 0.05 is here. And you're just literally, and I'm going to pick a different color so it's easier to see, you're literally just going to follow that kind of curves. And it looks like it gets closer and closer to that horizontal like that. So there we go. All right. That one should be an easy one. Use the tangent line of the graph to approximate m of 2, the temperature of the milk. Okay, so we want to first create our tangent line equation, right? So this is going to be, you know, uh, m minus m0, or you can do y minus y0 if you want. That's what I usually do, m x minus x0. It's just we're using t instead, so we just do t minus t0. It's almost the same things, but you just got to use the y and the x variables kind of separately there because that's y and that's x. Now, what is the point? Um, we're going to use at t equals 0. So at t equals 0, we want to know the point first, right? So at t equals 0, the temperature is 5 degrees Celsius, right? So that means the equation is going to be m minus 5 is the slope times t minus 0. And the slope is the derivative at um, the point 0, 5. So you're going to plug that point in. So that's going to be from our diff this differential equation, it's 1 fourth times 40 minus 5. Okay, you can simplify this or not. This is going to be 35 over 4. And so then our equation of our tangent line is going to be m minus 5 is equal to 35 over 4. So we're going to plug that into the slope times t. So m is equal to 35 over 4 times t plus 5. And then we want to approximate at t equals 2, so we're just going to say m of 2 is approximately equal to 35 over 4 times 2 plus 5, and we'll just leave it like that. We don't have to necessarily compute that. You can leave your answer just like that. That is what they encourage. If you want me to compute it, it would be 35 over 2 plus, say, 10 over 2, right? So that would be um, 45 over 2 if you wanted to do that, but you didn't have to. And I will just go ahead and put the degrees Celsius in there in units. They didn't say you have to use the units, but like um, I might as well go ahead and do that. Write an expression for the second derivative and use it to determine whether it's an under or overestimate. All right, so if we look at the second derivative, so first of all, I should expect a, a negative, or I should, well, um, I don't know, I guess I, we'll just compute it. So when I do the second derivative, I'm going to take the derivative of this guy right here, but you know, we're just going to uh, one quarter. 40 minus, and the derivative of m is just dm dt. What's that? I don't know what I'm doing. One quarter times the derivative of this. Derivative of 40 is 0, and then that's minus dm dt. Okay, derivative of m is dm dt. So that's negative 1 fourth. And they want it in terms of m, and you know that dm dt is this thing here. So you just replace dm dt with this expression. So that's going to be um, 1 quarter times 40 minus m. Right, and I brought that negative sign out, right? That negative sign popped out, and then the dm dt is just that, so it's negative 1 over 16, 40 minus m. Okay, now uh, now we want to use this to determine whether this is an, uh, an over or underestimate. So, how do we know if something is an over or underestimate? It's if I have a curve of a function, and if it's concave down, then what I know is if the, if the second derivative is negative, that means all the tangent lines are going to be overestimates. The y value will be greater than the curve. They'll always be above it. So in this case, when at, at, at m equals say, um, you know, zero, at, at m equals five degrees Celsius, we know that the second derivative is going to be greater, less than zero, because this would be you know a positive value times a negative. That would be less than zero. That implies it is concave down. Or you don't even have to say concave down. That implies that this is going to be an overestimate. And you can almost see it. Like they gave you the solution curve. It's nice here. You can kind of see the tangent line right here 
is going to overestimate the temperature. It's going to be a larger value than the actual solution curve, right? So it's going to be an overestimate there. All right, use separation of variables to find for m of t the particular solution to the differential equation this with initial conditions there. Okay, so how do I want to do this? I need to make a little bit more space um, just because the PDF they provided doesn't have a lot of space there. So um, give me one second while I do that. All right, so let's take a look at doing this. So separation of variables, I bring the dt up. I'm going to bring the 40 minus m over by dividing it on both sides, and that allows us to separate the variables. And then I'm going to integrate both sides. This right side is going to be 1 fourth t plus c. That one's pretty easy because it's just a constant. This one, you can either do a u substitution or just recognize it's going to be some kind of ln of 40 minus m. But it's going to be negative because when I take the derivative of this, I'm going to multiply chain rule. I'm going to multiply by negative 1, so I need a negative to offset that. Multiply through by negative 1. Negative 1 4 t. Negative 1 times some arbitrary constant is just some arbitrary constant. We do e to the both sides to get rid of the natural log. Equals e to the negative 1 quarter t plus c. Then you can write that as e to the negative 1 quarter t e to the c. e to the c is an arbitrary constant. You can make that c. If you make c positive or negative, it allows you to remove the absolute value of the sign because now you can say c is negative. That will include both possibilities. So it would be c e to the negative 1 quarter t. And so then you can solve for m. It's m is um, move it over, it'd be 40 minus this, or 40 plus c e to the negative 1 quarter t. Doesn't really matter what that c is, because we're going to solve for it. When when t is 0, m is 5. So when t is equal to 0, m should be 5. So we'll plug that here. 5 is equal to 40 plus c e to the 0. e to the 0 is just 1, so that makes c negative 35. So our solution is going to be m is equal to 40 minus 35 e to the negative 1 quarter t. Okay, and there we go.